How's it going everyone? I am your host, Pirates Rants, number one source for all things pirates here on YouTube. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about some breaking news that's happened in the organization. The Pittsburgh Pirates have recently acquired 27-year-old utility player Josh Van Meter from the Arizona Diamondbacks in exchange for 20-year-old pitching prospect Lister Sosa. A lot of you are probably wondering, hey, Josh Van Meter, that name sounds very familiar. That's because Josh Van Meter debuted in 2019 with our division rivals, the Cincinnati Reds. And ever since his debut, he really hasn't been that great of a player. His average has been pretty low. He's not getting on base as much, striking out a lot. His fielding's been mediocre at best, but he's still a major league player and he has some things to offer in this organization. After Josh Van Meter debuted with the Reds in 2019, he was traded to the Arizona Diamondbacks alongside prospect Stuart Fairchild in exchange for Archie Bradley. So far this spring, he hasn't really been hitting very well. Here's his stat line. It's a small sample size in five games, but still it's a pretty atrocious five game stretch. And as a result of his performance, he was recently designated for assignment or DFA'd by the organization. And as a result, the Pirates decided, hey, let's go out and get this guy to have some solid utility depth. One of the biggest red flags I have about this trade is that Josh Van Meter doesn't have any minor league options. So he's pretty much guaranteed to lock for the opening day roster on the bench. And that's going to be taking time away from someone like maybe Diego Castillo or Cole Tucker or maybe Hoy Park. One of those guys are going to have to start the season out in AAA. In order to make room for Josh Van Meter, the Pirates have recently DFA'd outfielder Jared Oliva. And currently the 40-man roster is still full with the addition of Josh Van Meter. The only positives I can see from this trade is that he's going to become a pretty solid bench bat. He's not gonna be exceptional. He doesn't have the best speed in the world, so he's not gonna be stealing bases for us, but he's very versatile. He's a good utility player. He can play all over the diamond and the Pirates need that depth, especially in regards to platooning players and having players that can fill in for specific players. Not to mention, Josh Van Meter has a pretty underrated power bat. He's not going to be hitting over 20 home runs a season, but he still has power potential. As you can see down below, this is his stat line over the last three years. Make of that as you will. Breaking down the other player involved in the trade, right-handed pitching prospect, Lister Sosa. In rookie ball, he hasn't pitched very well. He's been pretty mediocre all across the board, but the Diamondbacks must have seen something in him and wanted to get at least a player in return for a player that they've already recently DFA'd. So the Diamondbacks are gonna try and get some youth with this pitcher and hopefully he'll blossom into something for their bullpen. For both teams, it's a win-win. I don't think it's the greatest trade in the world, but it's still a trade that can help the Pirates in a big way. Also, in unrelated news, the Pittsburgh Pirates have been fielding trade offers for star outfielder Brian Reynolds. And this is not a surprise. All organizations do this, so don't take this as, oh my goodness, they're going to trade Brian Reynolds. The organization is stupid, but they're not this stupid. They are not going to trade away their franchise player and risk having the entire fan base burn down the city of Pittsburgh. So far, Two teams have been higher up on the call list. That's the San Diego Padres and the Miami Marlins, both of whom are trying to find a solid outfielder or just a player in general to help advance them toward the playoffs. Thank you so much for watching. If indeed you have, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications. That way you won't miss any future uploads. I've been really appreciating the growth that we've had so far. We're already over 11 subscribers in just a matter of days. Thank you guys so much for your support. I appreciate it so much. I'm looking forward to providing more quality content on the Pittsburgh Pirates for you guys. Comment down below if you agree with this trade. Even if you disagree with this trade, I want you guys to talk about this with me. I'll have a pinned comment. Be sure to reply to that. I'm looking forward to hearing your guys' takes on this trade. I personally think it's an okay trade. It's nothing spectacular. I gave it a D plus, as you saw earlier in the video. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Let's go Bucks.